Hi, I'm Coy Searcy. And I'm Chase Searcy. And we're from the Cascade FFA chapter. And today we will be discussing the importance of greasing agricultural equipment. It's important to grease your agricultural equipment because it increases the lifetime, the efficiency, and the productivity. It also decreases or prevents unnecessary wear and tear, seizing, and hazardous fires. We will be demonstrating this on this model, which consists of this base that I fabricated beforehand, these gauge wheel arms off of a John Deere 1790 planter, and these gauge wheels off of a Kenzie 3600 planter. In the field, these gauge wheels move up and down for the contour of the ground. As the gauge wheels move up and down, it determines the seed depth of each individual seed. And that is very important because consistent seed depth results in high yielding crops. Now when choosing your grease gun, it is more of a personal preference, but here's some things to think about. A hand pump grease gun is best suited for a small homeowner who only needs the grease gun about once a week. A pneumatic grease gun is best suited for a, a technician who is in a shop all day and has access to an air compressor at all times. A cordless grease gun is best suited for a farmer because the farmer needs the grease gun in different locations throughout the day. Therefore, today we will be demonstrating with a cordless Milwaukee M18 grease gun. Now, when choosing grease, it depends on the job at hand. Each grease has a different viscosity and drop point. The drop point is when the grease turns into a liquid. An example of this is our 8-row Drago corn head. Each gearbox calls for a mobile SHC 634 grease. That is why, in this particular case, the type of grease does not matter. Any high viscosity grease would be best suited. That is why we'll be using this CarQuest all-purpose lithium grease. But before greasing, make sure to turn your equipment off and take out the key. Make sure to put your gloves on and put your glasses on, your safety glasses on. Next, we'll be showing you how to unload and load the grease gun. The first step is to loosen up the barrel just a little bit so when you pull the plunger out, it can allow air to flow into the barrel for easier pulling of the plunger. Once the plunger is pulled completely and locked into position, loosen the barrel and remove it. Next, place the barrel over a trash can, push the plunger back in, and your grease tube will fall out. Next, for loading the grease gun, pull your plunger back out and lock it into position. Next, remove your caps from your grease tube. It is always important to remove the plastic cap first. The end with the plastic cap goes into the grease barrel first. I like to use the plastic cap as a pry bar to remove the tin foil top. Next, insert the barrel back into the gun and tighten it 75% of the way down. Next, push your plunger back in and tighten your barrel the rest of the way. Now that we have our grease gun loaded, well, the first step we have to do is clean the grease zerk. The grease zerk is this little application point on the joint where the grease feeds into the joint. Now you have to clean it because you don't want the grease gun to push dirt and contamination into the joint. So you have to clean it to get a better application of the coupler onto the grease zerk. Here I am cleaning the grease zerk. Now step two, you must refer to the manual. This picture is a picture out of the John Deere 1790 manual and it says that you need to grease the grease zerk 
every 10 hours. On this specific planter, the John Deere 1790, there's about 64 grease circs that need to be greased daily. Now step three, we're gonna grease. For demonstrational purposes, we will only be greasing this gauge wheel and not this one to show the, the comparison. Difference. Mm -hmm. First step in greasing is placing the coupler onto the grease zerk and apply the grease until it comes out of the joint. You can see it is falling out behind and repeat for the rest of the zerks. Now to recap, the grease side, which Coy will show you, has hardly any play, it moves smoother, it will have a longer life, it will be safer, and it will have increased productivity. Now on the not grease side, you can see it has a lot more play, it will have a decreased lifespan, it has increased friction, it will be way less productive, and you might have possible machine failure. And that's why it's important to grease your agricultural equipment, and that's how to do it. Thank you.